My name's uh, Kyle Banton-Jones, and I'm a zookeeper here at Cinnaboyne Park Zoo. So here we've built a uh, hay feeder, essentially for the bison. And uh, what's this gonna do is we're gonna fill it with hay through a uh, trap door we've made here. And it's gonna kind of simulate kind of a grazing behavior in the bison. They're gonna be able to roll it around pretty easily and access the hay that we've put inside with the uh, mesh here. We've used spools uh, in the past for enrichment items, but as you said, they they're are hard to get, come across. We generally uh, try to pillage them off of uh, construction crews and stuff like that that do other projects throughout the zoo. But we've always wanted more, and especially these big ones for the larger wire are really, really hard to come across. Wood reels or spools, as some people call them, that's how we get our wire shipped to us. We have credit on the reels, so when we purchase the wire, there's a, a charge as well on that for the recovery of the wood reels. I got an email from uh, my supervisor. He said that there was a lady that was going to contact me. She asked me if we had scrap reels because the Assiniboine Zoo was looking for some play structures for the animals. She said that she would get Kyle, who is from the zoo, to get in contact with me. We talked and I said, yeah, we've got scrap reels here that we have no use for them and there's no value to them. So you guys can come down and uh, take them. What we have behind is what we would call a behavioral enrichment device. Animals in professional human care, the care staff spend a great deal of time watching their behavior, which is something you might not think is a large part of a zookeeper's day, but it is. We like to make sure that the animals are displaying natural behaviors that you would see in the wild, that they're not exhibiting any stress, and that they're having fun and enjoying their day. So we do build and make different devices that will get them to do behaviors you'd see in the wild. This one here behind us, we put up a spool from Hydro, sort of like a swing, bit of a balancing item. We do have two eight-month-old snow leopard cubs in this enclosure, and this will help with them learning balance and dexterity, which is really important for snow leopards. We don't have plans for all of them because we got quite a few from you guys, but uh, these big ones, depending on how uh, this goes with the bison and how uh, they like it, we, we do have other uh, ungulates with similar needs like our yak, our camels, uh, stuff like that that could really benefit from this. So for a lot of the other ones, we've done things like uh, goat teeter-totters or just they're fun things just to hang. If you give them some, some plywood, a plywood version of this, that would be, it would be crushed on the field in, in no time. So. The amount of things we can do are endless, and zookeepers around North America, it's a very close-knit community. They have a lot of social groups where they share a lot of really fantastic ideas for things they've made for their animals, and we wanted to try a few of those things here.